Hey guys, Maka here. Completed episode number 37. Today's game is The Golf Club. For those unaware, Completed is a series I do where I take a few minutes to talk about a game that I recently completed. The Golf Club is my 172nd completion in total, bringing me up to 191,600 gamer score. For those curious, you can also see the playlist in the description below. Let's get started. I started this game personally on August 19th, 2014, after I got a review copy from the developer, and I beat it on September 1st, 2014, which is about two weeks, and it personally took me about 20 hours, and during those 20 hours, it's going to take you a lot of patience, a lot of luck, and a decent amount of skill. All three of those factors combined to make it a quite difficult game, which was why I give it an achievement difficulty of 7 out of 10. Some achievements are super easy, and if they don't have the word in an official course within the achievement or trophy description, you can do them on a custom created map, which are easy to find. But if it says on an official course, those are the hard achievements and they'll take you a very long time. Also, there's one achievement for getting uh, 100 unique custom created courses online, which is basically just sorting through four hours of other people's unique courses online. There's 24 achievements in total. The last achievement you see me getting on screen here is called Close But No Cigar, which is for placing the ball one yard from the hole on a 250 plus yard shot on an official course. The beginning of the video, what you saw was a couple of failed attempts at me getting into uh, the hole from a bunker shot. Also, uh, I did stream this game quite a bit on Twitch, Hello probably there, four to five hours of it. So if you're curious, you can check me out there. For fun factor, I will link my review that I did, my first impressions review, but I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. This game is very, very, very broken. However, it is actually a decent game when it works and when it cooperates with you. Additionally, it'll randomly generate wind based on who knows what. And occasionally you'll be playing an extremely easy tra uh, course and the wind will just be incredibly high. And sometimes you'll be playing an extremely difficult course and the winds will be super easy going. Um, additionally, uh, the smallest gesture difference in a shot can lead to a colossal difference in your actual uh, ball placement. And putting can be quite difficult. There's a limited amount of features, and there's also quite a few bugs. Anyways, I've also uh, listed the Xbox Achievements Guide link, as well as the True Achievements game page in the description below for those looking to take a look. And additionally, you'll see the achievements here on screen, as well as the last five games I've, uh, I've played on the Xbox One. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Peace.